So this is our uh, battery setup for our off-grid uh, system. We have interstate batteries. It's a 24 volt and um, the interstate batteries life expectancy about five to seven years. People say um, if you treat your batteries I gently. Was, I thought it was more like... Well they said five to seven but they said you can get ten out of it and even more with your maintenance and gentle use. Uh, so they do have a very long life expectancy. What we're learning is battery maintenance. Um, when we bought these batteries, we didn't really get a tutorial. So um, unfortunately, we have a friend that lives off-grid too, and he said, man, you've got to check the specific gravity in your batteries. You have to fill up these cells uh, with distilled waters. Um, well, we knew that. Well, we knew that, but, you know, and, and do it after they're fully charged, right? Isn't that yes. what he says? You got to charge them last night. Yeah. So last night we spent all night with the generator on fully charging our batteries and now we're going to um, fill up each of these cells so we've got a little funnel here and um, I need I need a pourer and and I gotta go to work here because I gotta be the pourer so but uh, we've got these uh, they set them up in parallel and is it parallel in series hi yeah. But you can see, you know, real heavy duty cables. There's four, um, one, two, three, four, and then it's in a series, I believe. Okay. So, yep. All right. Um, or it's these are in a series. Yep. And then I don't you've know, got the long four of them hooked together, and then they go to the next right. four. Right. Okay. And to the next, next four, four. Into the next four. Into the next four. Okay. And so they're in quant. They're in sections of fours. Right. And since it's winter, we are learning that there is no sun, and we're using our generator a lot. So that's what's been charging these batteries, and now comes the maintenance with the distilled water. So our interstate batteries has uh, three, three holes where the distilled water goes. And each cell needs to be filled up with distilled water after you fully charge them. And you also should be checking your specific gravity. When you first get your batteries, you should check the specific gravity and um, start a log so you have something to go off of. The other thing is you can see the tops of our batteries are pretty dusty. When we're all done, I'm going to have to clean that all off. Um, keeping your batteries clean is really important. A little bit of dust is not good. And we're also learning, this is kind of all a learning experience, we have ours double stacked in this, what we thought was going to be a very nice shelf. But as you can see, it makes it very hard to access the cells. So this double stacking, although it saved space, so you can see my husband has to pull each one to get to the cells, so it makes maintenance much harder. So if you are considering going off grid and, and how to set up your batteries probably would advise not double stacking like like we did it. Um, we are living and learning. So we've got all the cells filled. It takes um, with our batteries, our interstate batteries, one cup of distilled water for each of these little cells and the batteries that we have are definitely the workhorse I believe they are oh, I just seen it on here too they're L there's a number on there what what battery brand do we have I know we got interstates well it's a L16 HCL okay so an L16 basically. Yeah, and uh, I did look these up and we did a little bit of research on them. And yeah, they are definitely a uh, workhorse and um, we're going to hopefully try to get many, many years of use out of the batteries. But I'm going to clean up the tops and uh, then that will be will be good for a while. They say you should um, do your battery level every year, but it's also recommended twice a year, like in the fall and the it's summer. A double check. Yeah, double check. When you're running the generator, you're you're um, it's a little harder on the batteries, like you're cooking the 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 liquid inside or whatever. Yeah. And so it's more bubbling going on, and you might have more um, evaporation or whatever. Yeah. With it, so. And we've been running it a lot because of yeah the. 
So, but anyway, that's our setup, and uh, we are living and learning today. We've got another very, very cloudy day, and uh, we're really, what are we even getting in here? What does we're that getting 1.8 amps, 1.5 amps, and that's 37 yeah. watts, which is hardly nothing. Yeah. 44 watts. But I did lower, this is the slave um, controller, this is the, the master. This panel will set at the summer angle, and everybody said, oh, it's not going to make that much difference. Just leave it like that. Well, I lowered it um, about a week, week and a half Change ago. Change the angle of the panels. And so now the, the incoming amps in watts is slightly more than this one. Uh, this, this, this set of panels produces, and it always has been that way, um, it produces five to seven more um, on this lower setting, if it's doing like 100, this one might only be doing 90. If this one's doing like 400, this one might be doing 380. Um, for some reason, these panels pull in, or else something could be off a little bit. I don't know, but these panels definitely put more juice in, so I'm glad I lowered it. We're squeaking a little bit more out. Not a lot, but every yeah. little bit helps. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So just a little bit of information about our solar panel and our battery setup, which you saw from inside with our maintenance. Those batteries are the interstate batteries. They're L16 and they're lead acid. We have 16 batteries and um, they were $336.19 each. So our battery was one of the bigger investments. It was $5,379. Now I'm panning over here to our um, solar panels. These are 225 watt mono crystal, um, 600 volt DC sun module um, panels, and we spent $374 on each panel. So when we first got it, we got um, just four because we had that wind turbine, and it was like a $1,500 investment. So as my husband was talking about the angle of the solar panels, he actually went up here about a week and a half ago, and you can see the ladder's still there. He changed the angle of these uh, lower panels, and these are the panels now that are getting a little bit more juice than the upper. I mean, you can see the angle slightly different. Um, and it definitely uh, did make a difference. Uh, we are learning <laughs> um, as the winter goes on and we are experiencing cloudy day after cloudy day uh, that um, little things like the angle of the solar panels, um, fine tweaking, um, you know, things like that um, really, really now is important. Now we're to the point where we're actually thinking about getting um, maybe four more panels. Panels are not expensive. And the argument is, and I know my husband argues back and forth, he's like, on a cloudy day like today, it doesn't make any difference how many panels you have. You're not going to get any juice. That's right. But when the sun does come out, more panels will bring um, that battery bank up faster. So we're really, we're on the fence post. Um, if we do get more panels, for we'll watching, let you guys, guys know. And... and uh, Hopefully this little tutorial on, uh, you know, main, maintaining the batteries and um, our solar setup and what's it like in the winter um, provided some good information for you guys. i just give you something to kick around in your head if you're considering to move off grid. Lots of stuff to consider and I think the only way you can consider it is by really seeing other people set up and seeing what's working for them.